Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining me for uh, Beer and Hymns uh, this Sunday evening. Hope you're all well and that you're enjoying the fantastic weather. What a beautiful day it's been here in North Wales, in Llangollen. Um, so um, I hope you've got yourself a nice refreshing pint or some other beverage uh, and that you're in good voice. You've got your hymn sheets that... Um, yeah, I just hope that we're going to have a good afternoon and um, thank you for tuning in. We'll begin shortly. I'm just uh, just waiting for everyone to check in. Beers at the ready. Hello, Pat. Hi, Betty. Hello, Chris. Martin, lovely to see you all. Thank you. We'll begin shortly. I'm just... Um, making the final preparations. I've got my beer, I've got my hymn books. Mark, hello Mark, hello Beth. Uh, perhaps you could let me know, uh, drop me a message, tell me who you are, where you're from, uh, and what you're drinking. <laughs> um, even better, if you can take a photograph of yourself singing or knocking back a pint or a drink, uh, send us some pictures through. It'd be lovely to actually see some, some photographs come through. Um, hello, Lee, another Lee. Have you got a drink? Um, yeah, so send me some pictures through of where you are, what you're doing, where you're from, and I'll give you a few shout-outs if, if there's time. Uh, We've got quite a lot to get through this evening. I've got some interesting facts to tell you about beer and the church. Uh, we've got some great hymns. And, um, yeah, so I think we're just about ready to start. ta -da! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beer and Hymns. Um, thank you for joining me. It's been such a hot day, hasn't it? In fact, it's been a fantastic week. We've had some glorious sunshine. I've, I've been out in the garden this afternoon, so I'm looking quite, well, cool, as you might say. Cheers. Now, I hope you've got a beer. Um, I'll tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking um, beer from our very own Hlangothlan Brewery. And it's fantastic beer, this. Really, really good. Uh, I'm drinking the Beatnik. Um, and it's uh, such a refreshing drink. If you want to um, order any of these beers, you can do online. If you visit the Clangothlan Brewery, uh, they even deliver if you spend over a certain amount. But fantastic beer from our very own brewery here in Clangothlan. Um, and actually, I'm drinking my Clangothlan beer from a Clangothlan Railway Heritage uh, pint glass. So the theme is... Clangothlan, in the sunshine, drinking beer and singing hymns. So I hope you're all in good voice. Uh, let's just see who's joining us. We've got some really good hymns to get through this evening. Uh, and I'm going to tell you some really interesting beer drinking facts relating to the church and Christianity. So stay tuned. I've got lots of shout outs, birthday requests. Um, so I hope you can stay with me for the whole hour. So let's just see who's, who's joining us. Um, Sharon, hi Sharon, hello Gillian, nice to have you with us. Uh, we've got, okay, so, yes, lovely, great. I think everyone's got a pint or a drink. Uh, I'm going to take these off because I can't see. Um, right, so um, yeah, so if you're watching, uh, drop me a message, tell me uh, who you are, where you're watching from, and what you're drinking, and even better, send me. Send me a picture of yourself singing or knocking back a pint. Now, it's been such a hot day today, I decided to put on my, what I call my clerical shorts, because they're black. And um, I've not worn them for a year, and I, I tried to, but I'm actually wearing them. I'll show, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. yeah. There you are. The vicar's showing off his legs. Um, so I am wearing my shorts, and... Um, I couldn't get into them. Uh, well, I have done. I've managed to get into them. Uh, but it was an effort. I was thinking, I must have put on so much weight during this lockdown. Uh, I need to do a bit, bit more running in the week. Um, but yeah, I think we're all kind of getting frustrated with lockdown. Um, so what's the first thing you're going to do when lockdown's ended? Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I am 
desperate to go and sit out here in Clangotham by the river on the decking area of the coal mill and enjoy a nice freshly pulled pint and I can't wait um, but I'm enjoying one here anyway so let's have a drink and we'll sing our first hymn Hello Sharon, Sharon from Leon C. Excellent. Uh, wonderful. Who else have we got in yet? Martin, Pat. Hi Pat. So we've currently got 24 people. Thank you for joining me. Um, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the forgotten beer, beer blessing prayer which um, goes back to the 17th century. Now, a few years ago, when I was Associate Vicar of Croydon Minster, I had a little ceremony of blessing beer in the local pub. And in one of the newspapers, the headline was Ale Mary. Now, you've got to admit, it's pretty good. Ale, A-L-E, Ale Mary. Um, it's not bad. Um, so... We're approaching the end of May, and May is the month of Mary, Mother of Jesus. So I thought we'd begin our beer and hymns by singing a hymn to Our Lady, and it's Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. So if you haven't got the words, don't worry about the verses. I'll sing the verses. You join in with the chorus, because it's easy. It's just Ave. Yeah? Good. So let's begin by singing um, Immaculate Mary. <laughs> considered to be the month of Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so I thought we'd begin by singing a hymn to Our Lady before, well, it's June tomorrow, isn't it? June is busting out all over, almost. So cheers, I'm drinking my beer, um, courtesy of the Fangotham Brewery. Um, it, it's a fantastic drink, I have to say, it really is. I'm drinking the uh, Beatnik Bitter uh, here in Fangotham. Uh, and you can buy their beers on the website and they'll deliver for you as well. So um, let me know where you are, uh, what you're drinking, and uh, if you've got any shout outs. Um, oh, welcome Jane, nice to have Jane with us. Um, who else have we got online? Oh, Shay, welcome Shay. Now Shay says he'll be 18 in September, so he's looking forward to his first legal pint. Excellent. Uh, oh, Richard, Richard from Canada. Uh, hello, welcome, Richard. Uh, I'm, yes, I know Chris. Chris Booth um, works for the Diocese of Birmingham, I think. And you're an organist as well, uh, and, and a keen cyclist, I seem to remember. Uh, great. So we've got 30 people uh, in the house watching. Hello, Alex, Carol, Joe, uh, and Vera. Uh, lovely. Uh, so I was just saying that um, 
drop me a message if you want to shout out for a birthday, an anniversary or uh, a mention, uh, drop me a message uh, and let me know where you are, uh, where you're watching from and what you're drinking. Better still, send me a picture. So I'm, I'm quite sort of laid back today, I'm wearing my shorts and flip flops uh, and my dog Deacon, uh, the canine chorus is with us. Some of you may not have met Deacon before but, uh, oh hi Julie, good to have you with us. Uh, here is Deacon. So this is my little uh, canine chorus section here. There he is, bless him. Yeah, he sits quietly and just listens. I think he finds my singing soothing. <laughs> right, well, we'll see. After a few beers, we'll see. Um, now, you'll have to let me know if the hymns that we're singing suddenly get quicker and quicker and get more jollier and lots of glissandos then um, I'm probably drinking too much beer. So we better kind of keep a check on that. Right. Now, so before we go on to our next hymn, uh, we've got a few shout outs. Um, so I'd just like to say um, a big congratulations to Glyn and Barbara in Llangollen who are celebrating the diamond wedding anniversary on the 6th of June next week. So wonderful. Congratulations to Glyn and Barbara in Llangollen. Um, also another special wedding anniversary, uh, George and Barbara Hughes from Llangollen are members of our congregation at St. Cotland's. They're going to be cel celebrating tomorrow the 46th wedding anniversary. That's amazing, 46 years. Well, I was going to play, but I haven't got the music, um, a chorus of My Old Dutch. We've been together for 46 years. If I can find the music, I'll do it at the end of this session. So a big congratulations to Glyn and Barbara and George and Barbara from Slangothan. We've got some more shout outs and requests later on, so stay tuned. And, um, oh, welcome Jack, Jack from Scotland. Uh, I'll come to you later on. Great that you can join us uh, for Beer and Hymns. Have you got a drink? Uh, thank you for joining me. Now, so we're going to begin, uh, well, we've started already, but we'll uh, continue with our next hymn request, um, which is a request from Jake. So Jake, I hope you're tuning in and watching. This is for Jake Cook, and he has requested uh, one more step along the world I go. A nice jolly one. So let's uh, sing that now. One more step. doesn't get like the bawdy music hall where I'm <laughs> doing glissandos and shouting at, um, but it's a lovely day, um, 
we're kind of facing kind of lockdown restrictions, aren't we? So let's see how it goes. Um, what have you been up to in lockdown? Have you learnt any new skills? Um, I'll tell you what I've been up to. I've been doing a lot of gardening. Uh, I actually quite enjoy it. And I was digging in the garden a few weeks ago and I found um, an old cap badge from the Second Boer War, so 1900 to 1902. And I, I've got it here to show you. This is what I found. Um, this is what I found in my garden. I couldn't believe it. Um, so I was digging some weeks back now, and um, just came across this badge. Uh, as you can see, it says South Africa, 1900 to 1902. Hi, Roger. Roger from Leon C. Welcome. Uh, yeah, and it was just beneath the soil. Um, so I did a bit of googling and a bit of research, and yeah, and it turns out that this is an old cap badge from the City of London Regiment. Uh, from the Boer War, 1900. Um, how amazing is that? So um, that was a great find. So that's what I've been up to in lockdown, gardening and discovering, discovering hidden treasures. Um, great. So uh, welcome to Beer and Hymns. Have you got a beer? Have you got a drink? Are you in good voice? Can you all sing? Can you all read? Well, you know what they say, there's nothing like good singing. And that was nothing like good singing. Cheers. Right, now, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about St. Arnold. And you can see a picture of him here on my piano. I'll zoom in so you can see him. Hang on a second. Uh, St. Arnold is the patron saint of beer. Can you see him though? He's got a pint in his hand. Uh, oh, hello to Maureen. Maureen Cox from uh, Chester. She's not drinking beer, but a cold rosé wine. Oh, wonderful. As long as it's refreshing and it's going to make you sing, Maureen. Thanks for joining us. So, as you can see, this is a picture of St. Arnold. Now, St. Arnold was... He was a bishop around the 6th century in France. And he's considered to be the patron saint of beer and brewers. And he said, and I love this quote, he said, from man's sweat and God's love, beer came into the world. Isn't that wonderful? From man's sweat and God's love, beer came into the world. Uh, oh, hello, Phil. Phil's watching from Slangotlin. He says, looks like the lower part of the cat badge is missing. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look. So that's St. That's Arnold, patron, patron saint of beer and brewers. So let's just um, put that back a minute. Um, we'll go on now to another uh, shout out. <clears throat> hope you can all see me uh, and I hope you can all hear me. Uh, so we've got uh, another shout out here and this is from uh, Jack. Uh, Jack in Scotland. Um, and he wants us to remember his parents, who are sadly no longer with us. Uh, and they were Jack and Netta Dice. And they attended the International Ice Death Board here in Llangollen every year for over 40 years, travelling down from Scotland every year. And here in Llangollen they made many friends. That's wonderful. Uh, and Llangollen really is a meeting place for people all over the world. It's culturally diverse, it's exciting. There's so much going on here. But sadly, of course, this year, due to the coronavirus, there'll be no um, music I stead for. Um, but Jack, thank you for that. We'll remember Jack and Netta as we sing our hymns uh, this evening. Um, I've also been asked to remember and say some prayers for Connie Ward, who's in hospital, and for Jan Williams, who has sadly died. So let's keep those in our prayers and in our thoughts as we sing our hymns. Okay, so let's move on now to our next, uh, our next hymn request, which is, There is a Redeemer. Now, this next hymn comes as a request from Sylvia Jones, 
I, I, I know she's watching. Hi, Sylvia. And uh, she says that she loves the tune and that she finds the words so comforting. Uh, in fact, she says that she visited St. Coughlin's Church here in Llangollen back in 1988, and she still has the guidebook. Well done, Sylvia. So for you, we're going to sing now, There is Our Redeemer. Um, before we do, I just remember that I've, I've bought a new microphone, so it might improve the sound. So I'm going to plug the microphone in, if I can find it, here we are. I'm just going to plug this microphone in, and perhaps you can tell me if it works. Just give me a kind of thumbs up or a thumbs down if it kind of makes a funny noise. So, right, so the microphone's plugged in. I just hope it's not going to play up. There we are. Okay. So this is uh, <coughs> Sylvia... Sylvia's hymn, There is Our Redeemer. for that request and thank you for the thumbs up I gather that the sound is much better brilliant so we're going to have a little break now from uh, singing while I kind of just finish my drink um, if you've just tuned in thank you for joining me for beer and hymns on this beautifully sunny day here in Llangotlan uh, I don't know what the weather's like where you are perhaps you can drop me a message tell me who you are uh, where you're from what you're doing what you're drinking and uh, perhaps send me a photograph of yourself uh, knocking back a drink. So, um, right, so now we come on to talk about the beer blessing prayer. So I'm going to move around a bit. Um, right, so I'm going to talk to you now about a, a forgotten prayer. Um, I'll just try and zoom in on the text. Now, this is uh, a prayer, as you can see, for blessing ale. Uh, here's the uh, Latin version, and of course the English is on the opposite side. Now, this prayer goes back to the Roman ritual, or the Book of Blessings, uh, around the time of Pope Paul V. And it was written, or this prayer was in the book, one of the liturgical books, dated 1612. And it's forgotten about. It, it's actually not in any of the current official liturgical books of the Anglican Church or the Ro Roman Catholic Church, but it's, it has been forgotten. So I'll read it out to you. There's a little kind of 
responsory here for the priest who says our help is in the name of the Lord everybody responds who made heaven and earth the Lord be with you and with your spirit and then you've got this lovely prayer which I'll read out to you bless O Lord this creature ale which by thy power has been produced from kernels of grain may it be a healthful beverage to mankind and grant that through the invoking of thy holy name all who drink thereof may find it a help in body and protection in soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then it's sprinkled with holy water. So I know a few of you have been a bit suspicious when I've talked about blessing beer. You know, you kind of raise your eyebrows. But actually, no, this is here. And it comes in a book of blessings uh, for other occasions. So as you can see above, there's the blessing of bread and cakes. And, and further in the book, you've got the blessing of cheese, blessing of equipment for mountain climbers, uh, blessing of crops, all sorts of blessings in there. It's wonderful. So there you have it, the blessing of ale. In fact, that's the same prayer that I used when I was blessing the ale on the ale train here in Llangollen. We've got a wonderful uh, heritage railway. And uh, last year, it was actually about this time last year, we had a beer train and I jumped on board and uh, blessed a few beers and drank a few beers. So there we are. Right, we'll come back to some more interesting facts a bit later. I've talked about Saint Arnold, the patron saint of beer. I've talked about the beer blessing prayer. Uh, and I'm now I'm just going to pour myself another drink. Stay tuned. We've got more hymns coming up. I'll just move Saint Arnold out of the way. Uh, so this next beer I'm drinking is uh, again from the Llangollen Brewery and it's Twist and Shout. Uh, maybe it should say Twist and Sing. Um, it's, a, it's a darker ale, but anyway. It's uh, very welcome, especially with this heat. Right. Let's move on now to another request. So our next uh, hymn request comes from John Gambles. Hello, John. I hope you're watching. John has requested, breathe on me breath of God, uh, because it's the anniversary of his mother's birthday. And he says that his mother was born the same day her uncle died at the Battle of Jutland in 1916. For 80 years of her life, she worshipped at St Andrews in Wigan. And for the last six years of her life, she worshipped at St Tassilio's in Llanticilio. And this was one of her favourite hymns, Breathe On Me, Breath of God. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, sorry, I think there's a problem with the sound. And O'Shea has just said that the sound is a bit fuzzy. This is what happens, I think. Um, is it still fuzzy? Perhaps, can, can somebody give me a little sort of thumbs up if the sound is okay? Uh, or give me a thumbs down if it isn't and I'll try and uh, adjust it. Just before we sing our next hymn, which is uh, Breathe On Me Breath Of God. Is that better, Shay? Anybody? You all gone home? Oh, it's okay, yeah? Okay, I'll continue. If it is a problem, if the sound is really bad, if it's crack... Oh, it's crackling. Oh, it's crackling, okay. I'm going to take the microphone out and we'll make do with the phone uh, microphone. Hang on. Right, okay. I've just took out the um, microphone, so... Um, yeah, it's a bit crackly, isn't it? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do without it. I'll just bring, I'll bring this forward a bit. And we'll just manage with what we've got here. Okay, great. So our next hymn now comes, as I said, from a request from John Gambles in memory of his mother, and it's Breathe On Me, Breath of God.
We've had a few kind of uh, technical problems with the microphone. Um, so if you've got a hymn book, if you've got a beer, if you're in good voice, excellent. Uh, we've talked about the beer blessing prayer uh, from the 17th century. We've talked about Saint Arnold, patron saint of beer and brewers. Now underneath of Saint Arnold's image is a date that I want you to record in your diaries. Can you see it? Hang on. Yeah, so there you are. The 9th of September. It's quite a way off yet, but um, get the date in your diary because it's Buy Your Priest a Beer Day. It's International Buy a Priest a Beer Day. So there you are. Did you know that? 9th of September, don't forget. Uh, I prefer bitter. Um, and oh, as you can see, my, uh, my statue here on the piano is wearing a face mask, just in case. Uh, 32 people watching, wonderful. Thank you to... Um, oh, Carol. Uh, Carol's requesting Abide With Me for the late Frank Jones, who was a warden at St. Coughlin's for more than 30 years. Well, in fact, um, Carol, yes, we, we will be singing Abide With Me, because uh, it's already been a request. So I'm going to dedicate it to Frank and uh, to somebody else, to Jeanette. So uh, I'll talk about that a bit later on. So thanks, Carol. Um, thank you for joining us. Let me know um, where you're tuning in from. Where are you watching this live feed from? What are you drinking? What's your favourite hymn? What have you been up to? Drop me a message and I can give you a few uh, shout-outs during this feed. So... There you have it. Um, right, so we've still got to talk about um, the story of the man who drank too much beer, which is depicted on St Coughlin's medieval roof. And we'll also talk about the Cistercian monks who used to brew their own beer here in Llangollen at Ballycruchis Abbey. But we'll come to that a bit later, but now for another hymn. Uh, Susan says, are you telling Porkis? No. <laughs> We've talked about the beer blessing prayer. Um, if you've missed it, perhaps you want to watch the, 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 the feed again. I'm going to save the video on the Facebook page. But all the things that I'm telling you uh, are facts. They're not fibs. Um, so let's move on now to Abide With Me. Now, I want to dedicate this hymn to two people, to, to Frank Jones, who... I've heard so much about since I came to Flangotland. Sadly, I never got to meet Frank, but he was a man of great knowledge of history, who loved the church, the architecture. He was a warden for over 30 years, uh, and Carol has requested that we sing Abide With Me in his memory. But also Shay, Shay Farron, um, who's a wonderful chap, uh, has helped me out with a few kind of technical problems over the past few months. Um, Shay would like to dedicate Abide With Me also to Jeanette Williams, who was a beloved member of the Llangollen Operatic Society, who very sadly died uh, last week. So this goes out to Frank Jones and Jeanette Williams. Abide With Me. Oh, hello, Victoria. I've even got my sister watching. So, uh, hello. Have you got a drink? I know she doesn't drink, but um, anyway. So, um, abide with me. Uh, so, as I said, if the hymns get a little bit more jazzy as we go on, it's because I'm drinking too much beer. So, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how we go on. Uh, abide with me. Uh, June Cook 
and Trevor Evans are watching, but they say, sorry, they're not drinking beer, they're drinking Chardonnay. Oh, that's fine, drink whatever you like. As long as you're gonna sing, please sing. Nothing worse than singing alone, is there? Right, okay, abide with me. abide with me. Now we've got Nick and Diane watching from Leon C, great friends of mine. Uh, hello Nick, Diane, they're drinking red wine. Well, get you. Um, Alison Davis is watching with a gin and tonic and we've got uh, Cheryl Brown uh, from County Dublin drinking sherry and she says we like Calon Lamb. Funnily enough, that's going to be our next hymn. Um, and Sylvia is using her dad's tankard. Well done, Sylvia. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me. Now, you can do, do me a favour. Uh, if you go to the bottom of this video, this feed, if you click on share, then you can share this live feed with other people, with all your friends on Facebook and therefore be evangelists, spread the word and get more people uh, in, in, in the house joining in, singing hymns, um, that would be really appreciated. So if you'd like to just share this live feed with your friends on Facebook, just at the bottom of the page, click on share. Uh, it just means more people can tune in and enjoy uh, beer and hymns today. Thank you very much. So it's time for a drink. Ah, I think we'll, we'll probably tell the story about the man who drank too much beer before we sing Callum Lamb. Right, okay, so some of you may know this if you're regulars at St Coughlin's Church. But other, other, others of you may not know. We at St Coughlin's, we've got a splendid hammer beam medieval roof. If you haven't been in, go in and see it. It's amazing. Um, at the moment, of course, all churches are closed. But once we get down through lockdown and open the churches, pop in and have a look. If you walk in the church facing the altar on the left hand side of the roof, you'll see these figures. And it's really a story of, you know, a man who drank too much beer. Um, it's kind of medieval woodworkers having a bit of a laugh. And here are, the, here are kind of sketches of those images. So as you can see, uh, in order... Uh, the first image is a man carrying barrels of beer. Uh, and in the second image upon the roof, you'll see that obviously he's there drinking the contents of one of the barrels, looking quite pie-eyed there, isn't he? Uh, and then determined not to let any of the beer go to waste. He's literally standing, <laughs> standing inside one of the barrels of beer. It's amazing. Uh, and this is depicted in wood 
on our medieval roof at St. Cothlan's Church, Llangollen. So if you've not seen that, make an effort to come and visit here when all this is over and, and come and have a look. The story of the man who drank too much beer. Right. You see, this is not just a sing song and a beer drinking session. This is an education. Uh, so <laughs> thank you for joining me. Um, we're going to move on now to uh, another hymn request. We've got quite a few more to get through. Uh, Callum Lamb, Callum Lamb, good Welsh hymn. Uh, now, this uh, is a request from uh, my next door neighbour, pretty much, and a regular at St Cothan, Sylvia Rawlins. And she's challenged me, and I think that's right, Sylvia, you really have challenged me, haven't you? Uh, to sing and play a Welsh hymn, because I'm a kind of Welsh learner at the moment. Um, after having about two pints of beer, so <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Um, but Cavan Land is one of those hymns that's very popular at weddings and funerals. Everyone knows Cavan Land. Um, and as we sing this, let, let's think about all those couples who are having to postpone or cancel their wedding plans this year due to the current pandemic. Uh, we've got 38 people. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me for Beer and Hymns. Please let me know where you're from, what you're doing, what you're drinking, and please share this live feed so others can enjoy this session of Beer and Hymns. Right, so Carol Lan is our next hymn. <laughs> now, if you're watching from Llangollen, I have got my living room window open and I want to hear you all sing. Um, so if you're from Llangollen, please sing up and let's see if I can hear you. Um, it's in a very high key, so I'm going to struggle. It goes up to a top F. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. <clears throat> after that. Uh, uh, thank you June. Uh, June Cook, uh, a member of our congregation here, says that it was one of her husband's favourite hymns. I'm pleased about that. And thank you Sylvia for the challenge. Thanks Barbara. Hope you have a lovely anniversary, you and George, tomorrow. I hope you um, managed to listen to your dedication earlier on. And I've got a special hymn coming up for both of you later on. Right, so let's uh, let's top ourselves up a little bit. Do you know, it's no wonder that I have actually put on weight. You might find this hard to believe. I do a lot of running, and it's such a beautiful place here to go running. But despite 
all the exercise I'm doing, I'm still kind of expanding. It's a good job that black is slimming. Um, I, was, I was putting my shorts on. I was saying earlier, I put my, put my shorts on uh, this afternoon and I could hardly get into them. So, uh, and the collar is getting a bit tight around the neck. <laughs> so I better do something about that. Right, so our next hymn is, um, is a request that comes from a special person, well, special to me, uh, all the way from the USA. And it's a request from my Auntie Winifred, who many of you in Llangollen would have met last summer uh, in, in 2019. And she's requested a lovely hymn. It's one of my favourites, actually, that we used to sing at school. And it's Lord for Tomorrow and Its Needs. And Winifred would like to dedicate this hymn to all the lovely people in Llangollen who made her feel welcome uh, last year when she came here to spend the summer with me. And she wants to dedicate this hymn to, to all you lovely people in Llangollen. And it's Lord for Tomorrow and its needs. George Hughes says that my auntie Winifred did a lovely lady, and she is, and hopefully she'll be watching this, uh, maybe live in uh, California. So that was a dedication to all the lovely people of Langoflin who made her feel so welcome last year. Right, um, so <laughs> just reading some of the funny comments that are coming through. Um, Yes, so we've got a few more uh, interesting facts. We've talked about uh, the medieval roof at St Coughlin's and the story of the man who drank too much beer. We've talked about St Arnold, patron saint of beer and brewers. Uh, we've talked about the 9th of September, by a priest, a beer day. Uh, and, of course, here in Llangollen, if you've been here, you'll know that we've got some fantastic ruins of Ballet Crucis Abbey. And um, when the abbey or the monastery was, was you know, in, in, in order, it was run by the Cistercian monks. Now, a characteristic of the Cistercian order is that they follow strictly the rule of St. Benedict, working very closely to the land, uh, agriculture, farming, uh, being self-sufficient. And they would have, in fact, brewed and perhaps blessed their own ale. Uh, so here in Llangollen, there's lots of beer stories. We have our beer train. We have a great brewery, Llangollen Brewery, which is the beer that I'm drinking at the moment. Uh, we've got the story of the man who drank too much beer. It's all about beer in Llangollen. So uh, some interesting stories to tell today. Right, so I'm going to have a little drink. Uh, let's see who's who's online. So we've got Patrick, 
Patrick um, is watching. Hi, Patrick. Good to have you with us. Roger Mortimer is watching. Thank you. Um, excellent. Diane. Diane. Ben de uh, Let's move on now to another hymn. I need a different hymn book for this one. So if you are just tuning in, uh, welcome to Beer and Hymns, live from the Vicarage. Uh, if you're watching, let me know what you're drinking, uh, what, what you're singing, if we're all singing from the same hymn sheet, and where you're from. Um, and if you can, please share this page, at the bottom of this page, share it so that others can join in as well. So our next hymn is a dedication to Anne Hartigan. Now, some of you will know Anne is our organist at one of our churches, at Planticilio, and she's requested, Hark my soul, it is the Lord. So I just need to find which hymn book it's in. Uh, the green one, where's the green hymn book? Oh, here it is. Hark my soul, it is the Lord. Hello, Deacon. Uh, our dog Deacon has just come in. If you're just, tu just tuning in, uh, this is Deacon. Hey, hello Deacon. You all right? Yeah? Joining in the hymns? Oh, bless him. Yep, yeah, this is my canine chorus section. Right, so we're going to sing now, Hark My Soul, It Is The Lord. Thank you for joining me. Hark my soul. beer glass goes down so my I'm, I'm struggling a bit playing the hymns um, right so um, we're coming to, we're kind of coming towards the end now actually um, so we've just got two or three more hymns to get through um, thank you for tuning in uh, it's been a lovely day here I don't know where you are but here in Tlangothan beautiful day um, and there's so many wonderful hymns, aren't there? There's some beautiful hymns. Um, and did you know that this tune is in the hymn book?
Anybody? There's, there's 38 people watching. Thank you for joining me. What is that tune? Come on, name that tune or name that hymn. Uh, perhaps we should start a new series uh, from the Vicarage Live every week. Name that hymn. I think that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Scarborough Fair. Chris, I thought you'd get that one. Uh, excellent. Thank you for joining us, Chris, and everybody else. Um, well, it's that, yes, yeah, Scarborough Fair. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? No. Um, <laughs> that was one of Ken Dodd's jokes. Uh, and it's actually a hymn um, dedicated to, to Mary, um, the mother of Jesus. Uh, Sing of a girl in the ripening wheat, flowers in her hand, a sun in to Mary as the future mother of God. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, so we're going to move on now to another hymn. Another request. Um, let's have a look. Um, yes, we have. Now, this next hymn is a request from two people. Uh, from George and Barbara Hughes, who are celebrating their wedding anniversary tomorrow. They've requested the Old Rugged Cross because George has very fond memories of singing this years ago. Uh, I can't remember the name of the chapel that you sang this in, but it's got fond memories for George. And also for um, Gillian Walton, who says that it's her dad's favourite hymn, uh, The Old Rugged Cross, and he was 97 uh, last week. Um, and he's a resident at the Vechen Nursing Home in Klangothlan, and she misses him so much. So. Let's sing the old rugged cross uh, for him and for George and Barbara. The first line of the old rugged cross is on a hill far away, isn't it? Luckily this is in alphabetical order. Great, 38 people still watching. I'm glad you've not all kind of disappeared. Thanks for staying with me. Um, we're coming towards the end. Uh, on a hill far away, the old rugged cross. We'll sing a couple of verses of this. <laughs> popular funeral hymn about 20 years ago um, but I don't hear that sung or requested very often these days but it's actually it's a good tune isn't it right um, we have another request um, and this is the same request uh, from last week now Fabiano has requested his favorite hymn again because he likes it so much take me Lord 
And he'd like to dedicate this to our Auntie Winifred in the States, and we hope that she's watching. Uh, it's a beautiful, um, lyrical tune. So you may not know the words, but you can listen to me sing. Take me, Lord. to uh, Auntie Winifred in California. Now, do we have any birthdays? Is it anyone's birthday? Uh, you've got about five minutes left, so if you've got a birthday coming up or you know someone whose birthday it is, drop me a quick message and uh, I'll, I'll sing happy birthday to them. So we're coming towards the end. I think we've got one more hymn left. And by the looks of it, one more drink. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Um, so I'd like to finish uh, this beer and hymns now with um, a jolly hymn. This is a hymn, it's not a request, um, we've kind of finished the requests, so I thought we'd finish with this hymn, which was one of my grandmother's favourite hymns. She died about ten years ago now, and she had lots of uh, favourite hymns. I know this was one of them, because I think she liked the rhythm of it, it's in a kind of upbeat tempo. Um, and it sounds a little bit like a fairground tune. Well, um I'm afraid I'm beginning to sound a little bit like Les Dawson, <laughs> playing all the wrong notes. Um, but don't blame me. Uh, uh, blend the beer. Right, so we're going to finish now by singing this hymn, which was uh, one of my grandmother's favourite hymns, uh, Walk With Me, O oh My Lord. Um, if you don't know the words, la la. Chris knows it. It's a jolly hymn. So we'll finish 
Uh, we'll finish Beer and Hymns now with this final hymn, Walk With Me, O oh My Lord. Christianity, some interesting historical facts, the Be a Blessing Prayer, uh, and some great hymns. Thank you for all your requests, uh, for your shout outs, um, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. We've had about 40 people uh, this evening, so that, that's really wonderful. So uh, watch this space. Um, we've had pins and hymns. This week we've had beer and hymns, so who knows what next week we'll bring. If you've got any suggestions, Write them down on a postcard and send them in. Uh, maybe gin and hymns. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but thank you for joining me and have a lovely evening. God bless.